morning guys. Tammy Trier, TrierWilderness.com. I'm going to wait a little bit here and hope that a bunch of you join me. Um, today's a good topic and I'm liable to blast you guys today. I am like so overpowered and ah. Today's an awesome day and I'm going to share it with you and make your day awesome too if I can. So we're going to wait a little bit, see if some of you guys will join me. I am trying to get uh, my broadcast on my iPad so I can see what's going on here. Alright, let's see here. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. Alright. Hey, good morning, Chad. We're going to rock the Facebook Live this morning. This girl is empowered and overpowered. I've got too much energy for my own good, let alone yours. So, we'll wait a little bit and see if we can get a couple more people on here. See, there's a bunch more joining. Who's out there? Where are you from? And do you have obstacles in your life that you're trying to overcome? Have you overcome obstacles? Because we're going to talk about that today, big time. Big time. Today is a good day, by the way. It is the Mountain Man's birthday. And it is our anniversary as well. So it is an awesome day. And I am one of the blessed, most blessed women in the world to have the man I have. And I want to encourage you all in your marriages to hang on tight for the ride. There's always going to be struggles. There's always going to be ups and downs. There's going to be journeys that you travel through. And if you hold on tight, it's going to be amazing. Make it to the end, guys. Make it to the end because it's an awesome journey, but there will be struggles and there will be obstacles. And we have overcome a lot on our short journey already. And uh, I just feel very blessed today. If you guys want to say some prayers for the mountain man and the mountain boy, they have been sick for the last couple days. I have been drinking my immune boosting tea um, like it's going out of style. Um, you can find that recipe on our website if you guys are going through struggles also with uh, the germs that are going around. Thank you very much, Chad. Thank you very much. I thought we would talk today about obstacles, um, overcoming obstacles. One of the reasons that I felt I was really nudged to do this um, was for autism awareness. Um, the mountain boy was actually going to join me today, but he had to work, which is more important, and we will have him on another time. Um, maybe what I will do is line that up and give fair warning and lots of notice so that it can be a Q&A for those of you that also have special needs and autistic children in your life. Um, maybe they'd even like to ask some questions. Austin is very open about sharing um, about his um, circumstances and what he has overcome and his life so um, we we try as much as we can to to share what we what we have overcome and what we have accomplished and what we have experienced and uh, I thought we'd talk a little bit about that because that is certainly one obstacle that we have overcome and I just I don't know how to say it and I'm liable to get tear jerked in saying this um, I just can't express how overly blessed I feel in my life right now. Um, we had an amazing Easter with amazing new family, and I know that sounds funny, but um, we have these amazing people in our lives that uh, just touched our souls so deeply, and uh, Mama M and Papa K, we just, we love you to pieces and just thank you. You know, it's amazing how God puts people in our lives when we need them the most. Like I said, I didn't think I could do this without getting tear jerked. So give me a minute here. <laughs> Let me explain a little bit. Um, we have been... The Mountain Man has mentioned it on our YouTube channel. I have mentioned it that we are kind of going through a storm. And uh, I think today I'm going to be really transparent. I feel God is nudging me to do this because I think through my transparency, um, 
as we continue to walk this journey, you guys will see extreme faith. Um, I had my surgery in 2016, which uh, really set us back uh, greatly financially with the expense of my surgery, uh, the expense to fly to Georgia and be there for almost a whole month. And uh, we had two ER visits that year, um, wisdom teeth that needed to be extracted, and I was flat on my back from January till almost July. And we went six and a half months without an income. And uh, we, we never went without a meal. We never were cold. We always had a roof over our head. Morning, Zach. And uh, as we progressed into 2017, I was still healing. I'm still healing. Um, we had the illusion that we were getting back on our feet and we're progressing. And, you know, despite all our struggles, I feel so tremendously blessed. I feel that God has just had his hand on us in such an amazing way. And um, November came around last year, and we had a full plate for December. Things were looking really good for us. And everything on our December schedule, all four of the nice big jobs, got rescheduled and postponed. And we haven't had much work since mid-November. A couple weeks ago, we started on a job that has been an extreme blessing in so many ways. And we had an insurance job that came our way in December. Um, but insurance jobs always take a long time to work out the nitty-gritty. And that job didn't actually start here until two weeks ago. And uh, it was only a four-day job. So... It was small, and I've had some web work come my way, and we're very resourceful, so we keep just pushing and trudging forward. And I really feel that all the doors that keep closing for us are because God is directing us towards our academy. So I have been devoting all my attention to our online academy. For those of you that aren't aware of what that is, um, we live 100% off-grid in northern Idaho, we live very traditionally, sometimes primitively, and we utilize a lot of the traditional skills. We feel that the traditional skills that we utilize and how we live are things and skills that people should know. That if the grid were to go down or, um, you know, just the unforeseen would happen that you have the ability and the skills and the mindset to know what you need to do to keep going and in life to keep uh, your family protected and that has something that you know is something that we have felt for a long long time so through our obstacles and our struggles um, I've been really pushing to get the online Academy functional there will be a membership area where every month a new skill will be taught and there will also be individual classes for people that may just be looking for Glenn's trapping class or his blacksmithing class. So there will be many ways that you can utilize our online resources. There will be some free classes available, um, one of which will be uh, my autism class. Another will be um, how to embrace an off-grid lifestyle a free bread baking uh, course. So there will be things for everybody on our academy. And I have been working nonstop. Uh, this week has been pretty intense. I've had my head buried deep in programming and getting shopping carts and forums and everything in place. And honestly, it's really amazing. I love that challenge. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am a web designer and programmer by trade. So this is totally up my alley. I leave my office at night and my neck feels like it's going to fall off, but it's, it, I'm almost done and I'm almost there. This weekend is what, when we're hoping to release the Academy. And I really feel that God has been closing doors for us and pushing us towards this academy. I have felt very strongly that this academy is something that we are called to do. It'll be an opportunity for us to have our ministry of sorts to reach people. There will also be free Bible studies available um, to our members and probably also to our non-members. But 
we we are down guys I, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna be really transparent this is an obstacle but I have never ever in my life had more peace about myself and more comfort in knowing that I am loved and I am cared for and that through all of this so much good is going to come so I want to encourage you in your obstacles to hang on become a warrior without a test there is not a testimony you need to understand that and you need to strive and just keep pushing forward when everything else seems to be failing you because guys we are down to pennies I, I kid you not we are down to pennies um, we are late on things uh, things are not you know good but I truly believe that things are going to turn around for us and things are going to take off because I want to be a philanthropist. I want to be able to help other people, not just with uplifting them and sharing our knowledge, but I want to help those in need and I want to repay and pay it forward. So I want you to watch and I want you to follow. And if we suddenly go off the air because I can't afford to pay our hosting fees, we will be back. And we will be back in such a big and such a strong way. So I'm sharing our biggest obstacle with you today so that you can watch us overcome. And, and watch and see how we stay on top of this. Because I refuse to be defined by my circumstances. And I refuse to be defined by naysayers and the enemy sinking his teeth in and trying to tell me you know all the worst things about the situation we've experienced that it's really difficult when you go through situations like this no matter if it's illness no matter if it's dealing with a special needs child no matter if it's um, caring for an elderly parent no matter if it's financial or someone at work that just haggles you to death a hard job um, struggles within your home all those things are hard people they are hard and they are they are so hard to overcome and I have made it a point this year to just keep repeating mantras over her mantras over and over and over again to myself that I will overcome and I am strong regardless how weak I feel I am strong and I am going to overcome this. My family is going to overcome this. And you know, through our struggles, my family has become so rock solid. I just feel, like I said, I just feel so incredibly blessed, guys. And it's going through the obstacles and going through the hard times and overcoming these things not only takes perseverance, but it takes a positive mindset. And I know I've talked to you guys about this all the time, but... Even I get down and, and praise the Lord that through this struggle um, and the things we've been going through that the two of us haven't been down at the same time, which is really nice because we can, you know, when one's down, the other can lift and vice versa. And you need that in life. And sometimes you just don't have that. Sometimes your struggle is where you are out on the ledge by yourself. I've been there. I have done that. I'm going to share some more with you. And it takes just total inner empowerment. And I know that that is also hard, guys. Being able to um, overcome things by yourself is a feat in itself. Um, it's, it takes great determination and, and it takes great skill. And, and not everybody has that strength. So if you don't have those inner strengths, I encourage you to seek a friend, seek help, seek somebody, seek a pastor to talk to if you don't have somebody so that you have somebody rooting for you, cheering you on, and re-strengthening you when you're weak because you do need that. And, and fighting it alone is, is a difficult thing. So keep that in mind. And I'm always open. Email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. Join me on here and chat with me. PM me on our Facebook page and I will communicate with you because I know what it's like. 
You are as strong as you allow your mind to be. This is what's going to hit uh, Instagram in a little bit. Never let weakness convince you that, uh, that you lack strength. It's definitely a mind thing, guys, and we've got to be strong in our minds, and we've got to know what we need to look for and seek if we aren't strong enough to embrace things on our own. I was a single mom for a long time while I was raising Austin, and um, it was going through our hardest times when Austin was just diagnosed, and um, I was dealing with a lot of struggles um, within the family as far as naysayers. Um, people in denial that uh, he didn't have autism, uh, the family doctor getting absolutely furious with me because I found out that and did get him finally diagnosed, even when the principals were fighting me not for a diagnosis. They didn't want me to have a diagnosis because if I had a diagnosis, it would cost him, the school, more money because they'd have to add additional services for Austin. And some parents don't want a title for their children of special needs, but I felt that without a diagnosis, there was no way that I could care for him and help him and dig in and know what I needed to do if I didn't know what was going on. So I fought hard. And I'll tell you what, I told you, I am blessed. I have such an amazing family, and I will do whatever it takes and whatever is in, within my power to do what my family needs. And whether it costs me money or time, those are nothing compared to what we have accomplished with Austin. And it costs money and it costs time and it was grueling. And I had to fight naysayers. I had to fight family. And sometimes I wanted to rock in a corner but guys, extending ourselves for our families and putting ourselves out there to accomplish what we know in our hearts has to be accomplished is so powerful. And I want you to think about something. If you are out there and you have a special needs child, and, and this is there's nothing wrong with you for feeling this way, okay? Because being in that position is hard. And if you are doing it by yourself, it's even harder because you are fighting uphill battles constantly and I know you are and you're drained and you're tired and and you feel woe is me that I you know why did God you know why 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 is God doing this to me why do I have to deal with this child why right okay how about this God chose you to raise that baby because you are strong you are powerful and you are a warrior. Turn this thing around. You were chosen. You were chosen to raise this kid. And you were chosen to help them to overcome. So when you're weak, remember that. This isn't a woe is me thing. And you will do much greater good for yourself and your child if you realize that you were specially chosen. And guys, I'm sorry. This is a really emotional um, part of my life. These tears are happy tears. These tears are tears of somebody who has fought uphill battles and has won. And I want to empower you, no matter what obstacle you're going through, no matter what your challenge is, you are a warrior. You know, some of you out there might be men that are dealing with special needs children and, and battles that you have no control over. And you too are warriors and you too will overcome and you need to put your battling gear on and your gear read Ephesians 6 guys all of you you can overcome anything that comes your way it's all a mind thing you need to be able to be strong in mind and you will overcome anything having a positive attitude is what caused me to fight and fight hard for my son because um, too many people today use things as a crutch. Autism could have been a huge crutch in our life. And I've witnessed people using autism and other things as a crutch. 
life is too short and I wanted my son to live. I wanted my son to be able to experience things and I wanted him to live his life as full as he possibly could. So finding out what was wrong was the first thing, despite people thinking that having a, a title on this child was going to ruin him for life. You know what? Today on his driver's license, it says he's autistic. You know why? Because if he happens to get pulled over and and it just overcomes him and he gets overwhelmed and he overreacts, I don't want him to get cuffed and shoved in a car. I want them to understand. There's nothing wrong with it. That title doesn't mean he's a lesser person. That title means that he might need a little bit of understanding. He might need a little bit more love. But you know what? The guy next to you in the shopping line who doesn't have autism might need the exact same thing. It's all perspective, guys. It's all perspective. We can overcome anything we want to overcome. And fighting for our children and being empowered warriors is a good thing. When we are in these spots where we are stretched, we grow. When you step out of your comfort zone, you grow. When this boy stepped out of his comfort zone and was scared to death of ladders, we built him a stilted tree house. If he wanted to get in it, he needed to climb into it. You might think that's the most awful thing a parent could ever do. That kid helps on roofs now and does roofing with his dad. It just takes confidence. It takes somebody to care enough to push them out of their comfort zone and show them they can do it. This kid who couldn't talk full sentences at seven and still at nine, and I was the only one who could understand him, who threw desks across his classroom because he got overstimulated in school, because he was on a dairy high, because family refused to adjust to his diet. This kid has an Idaho driver's license. This kid is learning how to repair small and medium-sized motors. This kid is sitting on a motorcycle and learning how to do what people have said would be impossible. People told me he would never drive. No. It took us two years and different tactics to teach him how to drive, but he's driving. And driving a motorcycle, you need to understand something. When Austin does something, especially like that, to be able to do multiple things at one time with his hands, for example, when he drives, he is required to keep his hands on the wheel. That's just my rule to him. Because with autism, it's easy to be distracted. It's easy to be overstimulated by things. Now, he has overcome a lot, but we still put these things in place. When he gets in his truck, he turns his radio on. He gets everything set to where he wants it. His, his seatbelt goes on. His seat is where it needs to be. His mirrors are where they need to be. The only thing he touches when he's driving is his windshield wipers. It was just smart. And learning how to do things a certain way is smart. Okay, so he hasn't driven a stick yet because our clutch is going on our only vehicle that is, that is manual. So he's learning how to drive a motorcycle. It requires him to use a clutch. It requires him to use a brake on his hand, a brake with his foot, and he needs to shift down below. It's a lot going on at one time, and you know what? This kid is conquering it and I am so proud and it may take us to do some you know different things with him than uh, the way we had to learn you know it was simpler maybe for us than it is for him and we might have to do a little bit more work and we might have to draw out the process a little longer but you know what he's gonna do it and and I'm proud to make those adjustments I'm proud to take that extra time I'm proud and honored to be able to help him to achieve and to accomplish the things he needs to accomplish in life and that he wants to. So 
For those of you that have special needs children, I would like you to read our post on our website, um, What We Conquered and Overcome with Autism. You can simply find it by going to treyerwilderness.com slash autism. And I, I hear people struggling with their children, um, their outbursts, okay? My son, I had somebody come up to me, a manager in a grocery store one day. No was a trigger for Austin when he was very young and we were still figuring out what was going on and, and just were new to autism. No was a trigger to Austin and would cause a meltdown. That meltdown could last 15 minutes. That meltdown could last as much as two plus hours, okay? Going places was difficult. He was overstimulated by crowds. He was overstimulated at school. He would come home from school and I was guaranteed a two-hour battle. Ugh battle I tell you you won't even understand if I'd start describing it I mean it was just off the wall battle of trying to calm him and it took tactic it took skill and it took learning on my part to figure out what I needed to do to help him and um, a lot of autistic children don't like to be touched if you are familiar with um oh my goodness it just left me um it'll come back to me uh one of the big autistic leaders in our country, Temple Grandin. She created a squeeze machine for herself. She hated being touched, but she needed the comfort of tight tightness. Austin loves to be hugged. I give that kid a hug 10 million times a day. And uh, I, I was always grateful that he liked hugs because I knew a lot of families that they couldn't touch their children and that would have just broke my heart. So when Austin was little and he'd start melting down, I'd have to bear hug him from behind with both my arms and my legs and consume his body and bring him down into an Indian style position on the floor where I held him tight and I just sat there. I've had fat lips, black eyes, you name it, trying to sometimes get him into that position. And uh, once I had him in that position, it was amazing what that would do. And you know, his outbursts were things that he couldn't control and he'd sit and just cry like a baby and apologize over and over again because he couldn't control what his body would do. He just, and, I, and it, it was very clear. Dairy was the culprit for that. And um, the doctor described it as equivalent to giving him LSD. And it was very visible that it was the equivalent. He was off the walls. And uh, every other weekend, I would express the need for no dairy and no wheat. And pizza was an hour later and an ice cream cone on Sunday afternoon before he'd come home. And I was blessed with angels that came into our lives that were there and that worked with us and that were just amazing, amazing people. They knew at school that they'd have a four-day challenge till that dairy was out of his system. And that's why he threw desks across the room and pencils. And they were kind enough to love him and to understand that this was out of his control. And that it wasn't spiteful and that it wasn't ignorance and that it wasn't just this maniacal child. It was uh, poison, basically. And... They'd call me when he'd start melting down and I'd talk to him on the phone and calm him. And the school was set up that his room was upstairs on this far corner and downstairs in this corner was where the principal's office was. His meltdowns were so bad sometimes that she could hear him. And that was some of the battles we had. That people just wouldn't care to understand the necessity of his diet. And how it altered his life. It took a long time. It took like 13 years before that was finally resolved. And it was a really long battle. Uh, part of the, the dairy struggle was that um, he would lose the sensation of his bowels because the dairy would shut it down. So it wasn't just outbursts that this kid was dealing with. We went to a doctor and had a colonic done, and he said that his bowel muscles were that of an 80-year-old when he was 13. So I know your struggles. I know your challenges. Um, if you are a parent of an autistic child, 
A gluten-free and dairy-free diet will eliminate your struggles, will eliminate your outbursts, will eliminate the oppositional defiance that you deal with. I was in a grocery store and I told Austin no. And it went into a full-blown battle in the grocery store, full cart of groceries, and a store manager coming up to me and telling me that I should learn how to get my child under control and be a better parent. I wanted to throttle him. I wanted to grab his hair and yank it out of his head. I wanted to rip his eyeballs out of his head. But I just smiled at him, left my cart in the middle of the aisle, and walked out of the store. I'm sure he would have had things to say if I had taken Austin into an Indian-style position in the middle of his store. I'm sure that would have gone over real well. And I know many of you parents are dealing with those same situations where people just don't understand and think that he or she should just get over it or you should get over it and that, you know, diet's not going to change anything and, you know, he just needs medicated. She needs medicated. Don't medicate your child for anybody. Anybody. There are so many things you can do without medication and that medication is just going to harm your child down the road, causing them so many other troubles. All I gave my son was healthy food, whole foods, gluten-free and dairy-free foods. I figured out how to make everything he liked and that it tasted just about the same, if not better, than what he was used to. And it took perseverance because when he started with his diet, there wasn't a lot of gluten-free things available. And what was was like cardboard, and it cost $6 a loaf of bread. So, good morning, Becky. So you can overcome, and you can accomplish these things, and you can conquer these things. I have a cookbook that you can find on Amazon that gives you tips and tricks on how to convert your diet to a gluten-free and dairy-free diet. You can find it by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Tammy Treyer. Guys, the diet was life-changing, okay? The next thing that was life-changing was putting him on chewable calcium, magnesium, and zinc, okay? Those three things, and in chewable, I say chewable because most of these kids can't swallow pills. He still can't swallow pills to this day. It, it's a great struggle for him. So to be able to chew those pills made it easy. It was also important to get him on an acidophilus or a uh, probiotic. And those things put him like this instead of like this. And they were simple. And they're available on Amazon. Um, if you read my autism post that I told you about by going to treyerwilderness.com slash autism, you will find links to all the supplements that we used. It is important for these kids to be on a wholesome diet. And it's important for them to feel loved and understood. And it's important to get them out and exercise them. Get their endorphins going so that the extra energy and stresses and anxieties that they have will help leave their body to calm them. It's so important and it's simple things we can do. Take them for a walk. My son and I have a relationship like this because of the walks we've taken. Because when we walk we talk and we talk about everything. And um, just he has enriched my life so much in his view of the world, in his literal mindset. He adds such humor to our lives, guys. And um, <laughs> I'll share this one with you. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jeremiah Johnson, but the mountain man has always said that he was going to trade me in for a hawking gun. So if you've watched the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we're sitting at the dinner table here in our house after we got moved in, shortly there after we got moved in from our tent. And Glenn said that to me at the table. And Austin got really upset and he says, why in the world do you keep saying you're going to trade my mom in for a caulking gun? It's just those funnies. Our dinner table is hysterical. The stuff that comes out of Austin's mouth is just so funny. And, and we have have a note that we've recorded all of the oddities and it's not just him that says the oddities we say them too but he takes things very literally and things that are meant to be taken literally he doesn't get so it just makes life so much fun and you need to learn to laugh it up guys we talked about that with uh, Candace Payne 
just finding humor in life and finding things funny. You know, laughter is a good cure for everything. And finding laughter through your obstacles, finding humor in your obstacles can be life-changing. And I know that all of you out there are going through some kind of life-changing obstacle. And I know it's hard. And I pray for you guys all the time because I know that we all have to go through the hard. Each of our hard is different, but each of our hard is, is hard stuff. It's hard for us. It's hard because it touches our heartstrings. It's hard because we, we are dealing with things that we can't control. We are dealing with situations, maybe even people that we can't control. And it, is, it can be so stressful, and it can take us away from our faith because oftentimes we wonder why God would put us through things. I want to remind you, I've talked about this before, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. God brings life. So remember that. The enemy is the God of this planet. And unless you ask for help and you call on God, you're dealing with the enemy on a regular basis and your struggle and your walk is going to be even harder. And I can't imagine having gone through the journeys we have gone through without God by my side and without God carrying me. Probably going to butcher this, but I love the one saying, I'm going to have to find it and post it in the comments below later. Um, you know, there's that, the picture of the two footprints in the sand you know and that's of and that where the two footprints go to one and that's because God was carrying carrying us through our struggles and I like the one with the uh, butt prints in the sand because that's where he stopped and tried to help us take over and like I said, I know I butchered that. I'm going to put him in the in the in the comments below later because God some God sometimes needs to carry us. Sometimes we weaken and sometimes we 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 need his empowerment. And honestly, guys, I couldn't live without it. And like I said, I don't know what my life would have been like trying to go through the journeys I have without God by my side and without God carrying me and without God planting my butt in the sand. You know, we there are many out there that don't know God, and there are many that don't understand God, and there are many that, because of poor experiences, deny God. And I pray that through this video that somehow you are empowered to call on Him, because any obstacle we go through, it, it will still be an obstacle. It's still going to be hard. It's still going to be painful. But it's going to be so much better to know that the outcome will be grand because he's going to walk us through this. He's going to take us to the light at the end of the tunnel. He's going to, he's going to carry us if we need carried. And good morning, Deb. And I want to encourage you to call on him. And if you want guidance and you need help in understanding what he's all about, email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. If you are a parent of a special needs child and you don't have anybody else to talk to, or you're going through an obstacle in your life that has nothing to do with special needs, but you have nobody to call on, email me at survive at treyerwilderness.com. Like I said, our academy is going to be out there. It's going to be there to teach you how to can and preserve your meats and preserve your foods and learn how to sew and learn how to knit and learn how to brain tan a hide and learn how to get organized and learn how to do all that great stuff. But it's also going to be our ministry to reach people and to share our faith and to share our love with people. And I really believe that's what we're called to do. And it's a good thing. I feel so blessed to be able to have the knowledge to create this academy and to get it out there and to be able to share what we know, share what's deep in our hearts and, and help rescue people that need rescued and people that just need loved. So if you're out there and you're going through an obstacle today, regardless what it is, Know that we are sending you lots of love and lots of prayers. 
Chad just messaged if anyone needs prayers, even if you don't want to give the details, that's fine. He says, please PM him on Facebook. Chad is an amazing prayer warrior. And that is something you guys need to understand too. People feel that when they ask for prayers that they need to share all the details. So they neglect to ask for prayers because they don't want to share the details. And that's a really great thing you shared this morning, Chad. You don't need to give the details. Our God is bigger than anything out on uh, on this in this universe. And and he knows. He already knows. He already knows what we're going to ask before we ask it, but he wants us to ask it. He wants a relationship. He wants to be our father. He wants to be our daddy. I'm thankful for that. And you don't have to share all the details. And the same applies for us. If you guys ever have prayer requests, you just need prayers and you don't want to share the details, don't hesitate. We will lift you in prayer. We lift our audience in prayer every every day because we know that you guys are struggling. We know that, you know, you just need love. So for those of you that are out there that are dealing with special needs and autism, my son has overcome 97% of his autism and Asperger tendencies. One of the other things we did that was extremely powerful um, was hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Kira, I'm going to share this with you. Um, my son was nonverbal, till, pretty much nonverbal, that the only one that could understand him was me until he was nine. And we did hyperbaric oxygen therapy for seven months, twice a week, an hour at a time. And we did it together. And in there, he went from a pre-premer reading level, he was in third grade, to a, a high second grade reading level in those seven and a half months. He also has never turned back in having a problem getting out what he wants to share. He's very vocal. And he speaks in grand sentences, and he has been able to embrace his life. And I know your child is nonverbal, and I know that you are struggling, and I know that you struggle with the same things that I did. And uh, I want to encourage you today to try that. If you can't find somebody that does hyperbaric oxygen therapy, I have somebody that is in Pennsylvania that's probably two hours from you, but he rents out. Uh, hyperbaric oxygen uh, chambers so that you can do it in your own home so we will be in touch but and that applies for all of you I'm going to uh, share that link in the description today um, so that you can look him up also if you are looking for hyperbaric oxygen therapy it is uh, so much more readily available a lot of the hospitals have it there's a lot of places that do it um, I know this fellow um, also rents to groups so that if there's a bunch of you that have special needs children in a in an area he will rent it out and you guys can put it in a location and all utilize it and chip in on the cost so there's lots of opportunities he has been at the time when my son was uh, diagnosed um, Dr. Grahams has had been involved in autism for 23 years already, so he has that was Austin's 21 now. So um, he's very well versed in autism and can certainly help you guys. But guys, if you're if you're going through obstacles, be strong, be powerful, be positive, and and look to God. A strong faith. And a strong, trusting heart uh, can make the world a difference. I shared my story in the beginning of this with you guys. If you just jumped on, I encourage you to replay this video and, and watch it from the beginning. Um, we are meant to be overcomers. God is in our lives, in my family's life, um, to empower us and to help us. And uh, I am awed at His hand, His grace and his love on my family and I am trusting fully that um, whatever his plan is for us there's purpose in it and I'm going to trust it and I am not worrying I am not um, our saying in our family is it is what it is and uh, thank you Chad for lifting us in prayer and um, everything that we go through in life builds us, strengthens us, strengthens us, 
helps us become warriors, helps us become mountain climbers, helps us move mountains. We have that power. And I shared with you what I did today because I'm going to show you, and so is my family, how we are going to move mountains. And we are going to move big mountains. And we are going to be able to turn around and help others through um, this journey. And we are going to rock this. And I want to see you guys do the same. I want to see you guys overcome whatever is going on in your lives, whatever comes your way. And um, I, I would love for you guys to share your testimonies on what you have overcome and how you have overcome them. Those testimonies are powerful things, and those tests are given to you to create a testimony, and those testimonies are to help others. And that is why I use my voice, and I share what I do, and that is why I shared what I did with you this morning. Um, I really put myself and my family out there by sharing that, but I feel that being transparent in our situation and knowing what I believe in my heart right now and knowing that we are going to conquer this in such a big way I want I want it to be seen and I want it to be something that's powerful that encourages and lifts other people to want what I have and 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 to embrace what I have and that is a strong faith and strong courage and I'm wearing my armor and I want to empower you guys to do the same. So guys, one of the other things I'd love to encourage you to do today is to share this video with somebody that you know is going through an obstacle and that needs empowerment because I hope that that is what they will gain from this today. Guys, I'm going to, uh, I, I'm encouraging you to share your testimonies, your obstacles. Um, if you're not comfortable, that's fine. I'd love to know if you've gotten something from this today. Share in the comments. Um, interact with me here. If you're watching this after the fact, share, communicate with me, comment on YouTube, leave your comments. I don't get to them right away, but I will respond. Right now, I am focusing all my efforts and my energy on this academy, and I will be notifying you this weekend when it's ready to go live. And I would love it if you guys would also be willing to spread the word on that too once it's out there. The academy can be found at treyerwildernessacademy.com. If you haven't signed up for our waiting list there, I encourage you to do so. There will be a lot. For everybody something for everyone and I'm I'm it's my labor of love um, so guys I'm gonna say a quick prayer here for you guys for us all and uh, bear with me here so dear Jesus I just come to you this morning so empowered and so full of you and so full of the Holy Spirit and feeling so very blessed by your love your mercies your hand, your constant blessings, and the people that come into our lives that have blessed us in such amazing, amazing ways, if not through their word, their actions, their gifts, their love. And Lord, I want to just pay that forward and turn this around and be able to bless others just the same. And dear Lord, I ask that you wrap your loving arms around our entire audience and I just ask that you help them on their journey, on their walk, through their obstacles. I ask you to empower all the parents of special needs children, to strengthen them for this walk and to let them know that you're there and to show them the miracles and to show them the angels that cross their paths and help them to understand what they are seeing and to help them be positive and be able to be the empowered warrior that you chose to raise those children. And Lord, just bless these children with these parents. Bless these children with their gifts that you've given them. I know that each single one of them has such an amazing gift within them that just needs to be nurtured. And Lord, I just ask that you love everybody in our audience and just give them the courage to embrace their days. And Lord, just thank you for blessing us with them. And thank you for all that you do and all that you're going to do. And Lord, I just ask that you also wrap your hands around all those with illness and struggles, depression, anything that's out there, Lord. Just love on them, lift them, help them, and remove their illnesses and their struggles, Lord. And I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Guys. Thank you. I know I was emotional today, but it was good emotions. 
I just feel so blessed in my life and I feel blessed to have been chosen to both be the wife of my mountain man, the mother of my mountain boy, and I really feel chosen to be doing what I'm doing and I hope and pray that I reach you, touch you, encourage you for your walk. So guys, have a fantastic empowered day be a warrior stand tall stand strong and and take courage in who you are believe in yourself and i wish you guys a great week i look forward to seeing you next week and thank you so much for being a part of our family our community we love you all god bless